when my name come up, respect it. Put some respect on my name. You understand me? I ain't gonna say it no more. What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. And we are officially in the world of VR. Virtual reality is commercially launched. People are actually ordered the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. And some things are happening right now, particularly with the Oculus Rift, that are causing major issues for people who've ordered this virtual reality headset. Now, people who were early adopters for the Oculus have still not received their hardware. A lot of people are having issues and are getting pretty testy about it. Uh, that Oculus has still not shipped them their Oculus Rift. And this is really kind of a out-the-gate situation. I don't think it'll really affect VR in the long term. But as of right now, it's going to be a major issue for companies like Facebook that have no experience shipping hardware. This is much different than shipping software. It's like all of a sudden you want to become Amazon. All of a sudden you want to become Walmart. And, and you've never been in that type of situation. So, of course... This, this is going to have initial hiccups and issues in the very beginning. Now, will Facebook get this thing figured out? Of course they will. They're a billion, multi-billion dollar company. They're going to get people what the people have ordered and what people uh, have paid for. But initially, it's going to cause major issues. Now, my personal belief is hiccups like this, when companies uh, are not shipping people what they ordered, especially after the, the uh, official release or consumer release of a product, is going to bold pretty bad for these companies, but at the same time, it's going to look pretty good for Sony. Now, some call me a pony. Some say I'm a Sony fan. I'm more of a Sony fan than I am any other uh, home-based console. That's true, but I'm just speaking simple logic right now. When it comes to VR, the only other home company that's making any type of re virtual reality or augmented reality headset is potentially Microsoft with the HoloLens. When is that going to be released? It isn't even being talked about by Microsoft, so I'm sure they're pretty far away when it comes to talking releases of the HoloLens. PlayStation's virtual reality headset is actually going to be released sometime in the near future. Now, with PlayStation, this is not their first time at the rodeo. They've released consumer electronics since way back in the day. I remember buying Walkman. Sony stuff has been in stores for decades. And so this is not going to be an issue for Sony. If people purchase the PlayStation VR, I'm thinking that they're going to get what they want immediately. And on top of that, if you go inside of a Best Buy, if you go inside of a GameStop, are you more likely to see a demo of the HTC Vive or the Oculus Rift? Or the PlayStation VR. I'm thinking that you're probably going to see the PlayStation VR five times more likely than you're going to see one of its competitors when it comes to going inside of a store and seeing a demonstration. I mean, if you think about it, how often do you go inside stores and see PC demonstrations? Not very likely. To me, this is going to be something really similar to how it was 10 years ago when you walk inside of a Best Buy. And back then, it was Guitar Hero or Rock Band. Now it's going to be the PlayStation VR. And the fact that Sony has 40 million PlayStation 4s already sold through in the hands and homes of consumers, that means they've got a huge install base. And I find it kind of unlikely that there are 40 million Oculus Rift-ready PCs in the home of consumers right now. Uh, so that's going to give Sony kind of a, a head start when it comes to the VR space. For the long term, who knows how this thing is going to end up. But for the immediate future, I put my money on the company that has done this and that has done this well. I think that when people see VR, they're going to see the PlayStation VR and it's going to be an awesome experience and it's going to be on a console that so many people already own that PlayStation VR is going to win the VR race. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Do you know anyone who's ordered uh, any of the new VR technology and has not received their products yet? And let me know if you think the same thing will happen with Sony. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give your thumbs up and show support for the channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Put some respect on it.